Welcome back. Nestled in the shadows of Yankee Stadium, the Harlem Lacrosse program has grown from a handful of kids to its current total of 500. The success lies in their strict attention to academics, with students boasting improved grades and graduation rates, and we need to listen. Lacrosse is taking over Harlem, whether anyone likes it or not. It gives us a chance to bond with each other. Lacrosse is obviously, it's been mostly played in wealthier, more fluent communities. A lot of people always ask me, every time I'm outside, or I usually always have my sex, so someone's always asking me, what is that? What type of sport is that? Oh my god, you play lacrosse? I'm like, yes. They're like, it's not so much in the black community. Stick with it, you can get a scholarship. Someone confused me for playing hockey, playing golf, and I always just, yes, I always say, I just play lacrosse. So my parents kind of brag about me playing lacrosse. Let's get it done in 10 seconds, jog there, go. I just think that what our program has done is has given the girls pride in not just you know their athletics, but also their academics. Our kids' grades go up five to 10 points on average a year. Our students have earned about $15 million in scholarship offers over just, and we've only been around six years. The personal relationships I've, I've made with the girls are what's so impactful to me. My neighborhood is, I have, I'm under a really lot of bad influence, so what lacrosse does is it gives me a chance, it distracts me from all the negativity so I can post, focus on the positive thing in life, which is playing lacrosse. Whenever something really bad is going on in one of their lives, I'm the first person they come and tell. I had anger issues and she actually calmed them down. I count to 10 real quick, one of the suggestions she gave me, I think about everything I'm throwing away if I cause the attitude, a little tantrum. Whenever something really good is going on in their lives, I'm the first person they come and tell. If I, one of my players is feeling down, we have to like hype them up. Yeah! We basically try to help them, give them a better self-esteem. Defense! 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 Teamwork makes the dream work. I started playing in sixth grade too, which kind of made me pull toward this program because we are a middle school program. And ever since I started playing lacrosse, my, my life has completely changed. I just wanted to be able to give that back to the sport that gave me so much. Um, and now the girls are giving back to me. It gives me new chances, giving me new things to do. I love lacrosse. HLF, we love this. The Harlem Lacrosse program has a 92% retention rate of their students at a four-year college, and they have received $15 million in scholarship offers. And when I look at this program, I mean, in the background, you see the tennis courts. The Harlem Junior Tennis and Education program, which is an NJTL chapter. That's what it's all about. It's about a sport and education. And when you look at these kids with this opportunity to play something like lacrosse, coming from Harlem, and being able to go across the, not just the city or the mm -hmm. state, but other areas to meet mm -hmm. other, other students. I mean, it's, it's just heartwarming. It, well, sorry, I was gonna say, it warms my heart. It really kind of brings me to tears because I'm from the inner city in LA. And so when you're, I see myself in those girls out there because I found basketball when I was 12 years old and I was in Compton, California. And you see a lot of negative things as you walk past just to get to the courts. And so the inspiration that sports and what it does for young girls, you're more likely not to do drugs, you're more likely to go to college, you're more likely not to get pregnant early. The statistics are so amazing when girls participate in sports. And so I'm just so happy to see that this is happening even in New York and, and it's spreading, right? Lacrosse is now heading west. Yeah, and, and the program is spreading too. It's, it's moving into several cities. And you mentioned how they partnership up with other lacrosse programs around this, the state move into Connecticut, they move into New Jersey, and it doesn't only benefit the girls and the boys from the Harlem lacrosse program, but it benefits the boys and the girls from these other programs. Right. They make friends, they get to partnership together, and I was talking to one of the coaches who told me that they partnershiped with a team in New Canaan, made it to the championship of a tournament together, and they lost in overtime, but what a bonding experience it was. And they made friendships that are gonna be lasting a long time. And look, obviously, as everyone has noted, it's incredibly inspirational. But for me, I, I think of sort of the broader picture of sports as well. And considering that lacrosse is sort of this white bastion of sports, and to see these African-American, especially young ladies playing it, I want to remind you that arguably the greatest college lacrosse player of all time happens to be an African-American. And he was a Hall of Fame football player. You may have heard of him, 
Jim Brown at Syracuse, arguably the greatest college lacrosse player ever. So it is true, and I have fact. to tell you, I am a total lacrosse groupie. All my kids play, my husband coaches, and it is just a wonderful sport to be able to do this, you know, for kids uh, across the country.